Hello and welcome to the course Surface Facility for Oil and Gas. I am Professor Abdul Samad. I am teaching in the Department of Ocean Engineering since 2010. I am teaching basically oil and gas courses such as surface production systems or surface facilities, artificial lifting systems. I taught drilling and completion course also. I am teaching marine engineering course also. My basic research interests basically fluid machinery, fluid mechanics, region optimization and renewable energy or especially ocean renewable energy. And this course is basically surface facilities. What is surface facility? Surface facility means you are getting oil and gas from whale bore and you have to separate properly then you have to transport to your downstream or midstream people okay so just think about the diesel petrol kerosene you are using in your household or in your car or your day to day industry uh, day to day activities or on road construction systems like uh, naphtha you are using or plastic you are using all the things are coming from oil and gas okay that oil and gas is not giving directly you have to process it well bore is giving the oil and gas you are producing that will have lots of impurities like water, water is actually impurity, salt, sand and hydrogen sulphide, maybe some other component also may be there. So those components you have to separate before you are transporting that oil and gas to your midstream or downstream section. I am talking about upstream section, upstream section means you are getting oil and gas from well bore. So that well bore you are producing, you are separating, then you are sending to customer. So before sending to customer whatever activity you are doing that is actually coming under upstream oil and gas. Now upstream oil and gas you are getting uh, oil and gas you are getting from well bore and you are transporting to your customer or your refineries. Now in between what is happening? In between there will be well head, there will be surface separation system like separation system will contain like choke, separate system, small pipeline system, compress system, pump system and many other equipment. Okay. Now why so many equipment will be requiring? They say one well bore is producing very high pressure like say, uh, 500 bar pressure and another is producing with 10 bar pressure and you are connecting all well bore together. So 500 bar pressure will be fluid will be entering into 10 bar pressure of well bore. So you cannot connect directly then you have to must have certain mechanism so that high pressure fluid low pressure fluid will be mingling and it will be passing to a common separator from there again you will be separating gas, oil. Again another issue is that different pressure you got, different temperature also will get. Another issue will be coming, hydrogen sulphide will be coming, your carbon dioxide will be coming and sand will be coming, water will be coming. So, so many impurities are there, pressure is different, temperature is different, viscosity is different. So, and you have to handle, again you have to handle safely. Your system should not have any leakage or bust probability. You must measure also properly, you have to dispose water and sand properly because if water and sand is having lots of carbon, uh, hydrocarbon component, the environmental agency will not allow to dispose anywhere randomly. Okay. You have to remove hydrocarbon component, then you have to dispose in proper way. There will be certain procedure, you have to follow that. Now, I am, when I am talking about disposing, separating all these things, it will be coming under upstream oil and gas. Whenever talking about upstream means it will be exploration, drilling, completion, production. Production implies like you are after drilling and completion, the production engineers they will be handing, uh, they will be taking over the charge and they will be producing continuously maybe one year, two year, three year, four year, five years. Okay. During their period, whatever fluid they are getting, they will be separating oil, gas, water, sand. H2S is there, remove it. If you have carbon dioxide, remove it. And when you are doing all these things, you need certain mechanical arrangement, certain chemical arrangement. Okay. And if you have very much corrosive hydrogen sulphide gas, so you have to hand the engineers must be handling properly. Okay. And if you are getting water, I already told the water you have to dispose properly, sand you have to dispose properly, gas you have to remove all the acidic component, other component you have to give to your customer. You say your ONGC is producing gas, this gas will be going to your Indian, those uh, Indian oil people, Indian oil people will be filling in your Indian cylinder, then they will be sending to your house. Okay. If you are getting crude oil, you must remove water content and salt, sand, after getting all this you are sending or transporting through pipeline or tanker to downstream section. Downstream section means they will be containing refineries, Refinery, they will be doing fractional distillation. From fraction, fractional distillation you are getting actually diesel, petrol, kerosene, naphtha, all the component, even plastic also day to day activity you are using. So all these things you are getting from downstream. Upstream you are giving crude oil, crude oil means that oil you are not filling in your petrol pump or in your car okay because that 
fluid will be very much thick black almost black color thick fluid so that uh, will not run your system okay so first you have to isolate all the component diesel petrol with a different temperature and fractional isolation then you can use so that means the separation systems are not so easy thing actually there are so many complex steps are there in the separate system so in my course i'll be discussing all the complex steps uh, from drilling i'll st start drilling means some brief discussion about drilling and completion and surface facilities then i will talk about different separate systems how to size it how to calculate it how to uh, make heater treater how to make uh, like uh, electrostatic uh, separator system uh, natural gas processing system and i will be discussing about pressure vessel line sizing pumps compressors prime movers all the things i'll try to discuss in the whole course and after completing the course, I hope you will have sufficient knowledge to get next level job or next level promotion. Thank you very much for uh, listening this introductory video. Thanks.